Most football teams play in leagues and they move up and down the league depending on the results. Across the top of the league table you see P, which is for games played. Uh, you'll see W for games won, D which signifies drawn games and L which signifies lost games. You don't want too many of those in your column. Then you'll see F which are goals for and A which are goals against. And then you see at the very end of it all PTS which stands for points and that's the total number of points you've accumulated through up to that period of a particular season. We read tables by reading across the rows and down the columns. So we see in this table that Cork City have won 12 matches. The league table changes every week. Um, every game you play, you're playing for points. A win gives you three points, a draw gives you one point, and obviously defeat gives you zero points. On this table, Shelburne has the most points, 55. So they're at the top of the table. Waterford United has the least, 12. So they're at the bottom. But if Waterford United win their next game, they'll get three more points, giving them 15. They then go up the table ahead of Bray Wanderers. What happens at the end of the season, if there's a tie between two teams, we will take the number of goals we have scored and we will subtract the number of goals we conceded. The goal difference will then, if it's higher than Shelbourne or Derry City, that means we end up higher than them in the table. During the season, the league table is constantly changing and you can keep up to date with how your team's doing in the newspapers on the FAI website or on your team's website. At the end of the season, the, the number of points accumulated decide how successful or lack of success you've had through that particular season. So every time a game comes up, the most important point are the three points at stake. That's the be-all and end-all of my week as a professional football manager.